the new system has definitely given us an opportunity to have even deeper conversations and specific targeted conversations around a common language. That has been such a powerful uh, component of the new evaluation systems is having a common language and to have those deep conversations uh, with teachers based upon the evidence that we come in and we collect during our observation. And then it's a, it's a give and take. It's a let's look at this together and see uh, specifically, let me give you a specific example of questioning. You know, who's asking the questions, who's answering the questions, and who's guiding that work and, and how often are the questions being asked and an answer given one time right away or is there more questions that they're building upon and things like that. It's just a great opportunity for us again to have that deeper conversation about the student and their part in the classroom uh, with the teacher. I think what it has done for both teachers and administrators, it's given us um, the common language of the frameworks, which makes a lot of sense. It is what good teaching is all about. And having that common language to um, talk to teachers about, whether it be through the walkthroughs or the observations or even the evaluation, um, gives us that common ground to start with. Um, and I think that it, it has allowed me to be more focused when I go in to observe and um, to look at things in a way that are evidence-based versus just how things feel or um, how things might look, just look. Um, there's a lot of evidence that comes behind each of those pieces that we, we talk about. I think uh, one of the things that the new evaluation system has done for me personally is that it's kind of moved uh, the conversation forward and actually reshape the conversation and, and if I'm going to be completely honest in some cases it's actually raised the issue of the conversation about what is great teaching and so the the new evaluation system has really provided a wonderful opportunity for us to have a common understanding and a common definition of what good teaching and good teaching pra practice actually looks like so, um, so for me, what, what that actually has translated into is a number of really important conversations with my colleagues, as well as with administrators afterwards, um, where we've kind of reflected in deeper ways than had happened before, I think, um, in, in kind of how what we did was good, but how could we actually move it? And I think those conversations had always taken place, but I think the evaluation system provided more focus and there was a, a greater clarity about what we were actually aiming for. I think the biggest change is the transfer from the old system to the new system. I've been teaching for 27 years in this district. I've got paperwork in a folder at my house that I've signed and, and most of those evaluations consisted of a, an administrator coming into my room, watching a lesson, shaking my hand, thanking me for the opportunity to, to observe. And then I'd get a lesson evaluation back a, a few weeks later and, and in many cases I'm embarrassed to say I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even read the things. The process before wasn't effective at, at changing what I did in the classroom. It was a brief snapshot of one day and the new process is much more in depth the the framework that it provides it, it's it's not it's, it's not a miracle drug it's not a cure for cancer this is just a framework that gives two people an opportunity to have a conversation about education and if both people come into that room ready to actually improve the teaching process to improve what we're doing with students there's a wonderful opportunity now to do that uh, so i think the biggest comment that I'd like to make is just the change that I've seen. I've now had two observations this year and both of them finished with great conversations about what had happened in my room. And I enjoyed those conversations. They affected me. They're going to change the way I teach.